Welcome to another Unnecessary Computer Things. Today we're going to be connecting up to API Gateway. First thing we're going to do is look at the Lambda handler again. So you can see there are some conventions here. Uh, we actually have a handler, uh, which is the first part of the name before the dot and then the and then the actual function is the second part of the name. So you see that dash F1, dash F2. We're going to save the response that comes from that. Okay, I've done a little cleanup here and I'm gonna push this repo. So let's look at the Lambda function. So there are a few things here. There's a seed value at the top here. And we're actually doing that with some manipulation of dev random to generate a seed file. Otherwise, we're going to get the same exact maze every time. And then we actually are going to do a, append a run to the input there. And then there's that dash warp. I actually was using plus warp, which I had had that convention backwards. It minus warp enables warp, plus warp disables it. So no matter how much resources you throw at it, it has the same. And then we're going to set the content type of it to image ping, and then content disposition to inline. And then base64 dash w0, that w0 uh, prevents new lines from getting added to, to wrap the file. And our build file, a build just packages it. You know, this is a version that has all the disk stuff in it. Uh, here you can see the basic file is just your standard basic Commodore basic maze program where it has a backslash and forward slash graphics characters. Now, so we do have to re-upload the Lambda. This is just a fresh sandbox. And author from scratch, the function name itself doesn't matter too much to us. Uh, we just want to have that uh, for lookups. Uh, provide your own bootstrap, Amazon Linux 2. Really don't change anything else. So when you do this, you get the bootstrap example files, and then we will actually just upload our zip file over those because we don't care about the sample files anymore. I'll just go to the upload zip file and then I gotta go look around in my folders for this. Uh, and then once I actually can navigate there, upload it. There and save. So it's deployed. Okay, so let's quickly do a test. Here you might actually notice an error already here. So let's run, run a test. Okay, so we failed. Why did we fail? Uh, so no such file or directory. So it's looking by default for that hello.sh. And why is that? Uh, you go back to code and scroll down below that code properties and then runtime settings, look at the handler, it says hello.handler. So we need to change that to vice dash lambda named after the .sh file. And then dot, it's not dot maze though. Look, let's look at our vice lambda.sh file.
it's called handler so i was trying to refactor refactor to make it make more sense but i still kind of missed the renaming a little bit so but phi lambda is the name of the script handler is the name of the function within the script that it gets called and this is all set convention set up by the template you could really mangle this as much as you wanted to Okay, so we failed again, we timed out. Uh, so we're only throwing 128 meg at this, and while we have warp set on that, at 128 meg, your CPU resources are still a little too low to really get it going too fast. And just verifying that we're actually calling it with dash warp. Okay, so we are, and we're limiting the cycles to 20 million, which at non-warp would actually be like 20 seconds, but warp, it shouldn't take that long. So let's, let's up our memory instead of upping our time out this time. We don't really need to run longer than three seconds. And if you're waiting on an image file, that's not going to be useful anyway. Okay, so we are generating this JSON with the UU encoded ping file. Okay, so next is going to get API gateway and setting up a gateway, API gateway. So if you're new in this one, uh, you're going to get to get started. We want to actually build a REST API in this case. And we're just going to start completely from scratch. Uh, again, the API name doesn't really matter just for handy usage uh, in finding it later. So we're going to add a method. We're going to add a get method because we wanted to just get the next thing. Uh, it's going to just call up a random ping file. So it's integration, Lambda function. We're going to use this Lambda proxy integration. So the mapping of, of request and response work. And then we're going to find our Lambda function in here and save. Okay, so now we can test this. And this part works. Okay, so it's all mapping. If you didn't have the request mapping handling right, or you weren't throwing back the right responses, that would completely error out. So you're getting a 200, that, that's a good sign. So now we need to deploy it. So go to deploy. We're gonna create a new stage for this. It's just gonna call, be called dev. dev. Uh, we're not really going for production level configuration here. Okay, so invoke URL. And if we click that, well, we're almost there. We have a broken image. Uh, so how to debug this? Okay, so there is a configuration in here under settings, not resource policy. Um, down at the bottom, so we have content encoding enabled and then we have binary media types. The one we actually care about today uh, is not content coding enabled, it is a binary media type. So let's go with uh, it's image slash ping. Uh, this may or may not work, but I let's see if we can actually make it work with the narrowest com, nearest possible media type. Okay, so we're back in the settings. Going to do just star slash star for 
for settings there. And then let's see if this works. Okay, not quite yet. Okay, so I've gone and done redeploy. It's possible since we're replacing it instead of actually creating a new that it's going to take a couple seconds to propagate. So if we do a refresh now, you can see we're getting the maze in a ping file. And if you refresh it again, you get a new one. So you're actually generating, generating a random maze and putting it into a ping file. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.